We are back now with some cool kid activities and good housekeeping, amazing science, 83 hands-on STEAM experiments for curious kids. And there's Chief Technologist and Director of Engineering, Rachel Rothman, joins us now. Rachel, good morning to you. Thank you for joining us here on GMA. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. I love talking science. Well, we, we love talking science with you. And we're going to talk about these experiments. They are described as STEAM. What exactly does that mean? STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Mathematics. And all these experiments are really going to bring science alive for kids to make it really fun and engaging. And I love it. When you can make it fun for kids, of course, they want to learn and be more engaged. And we're going to start um, off with this one. This one is all about the bubbles. Show us what we got. Yes. So here we're teaching kids all about surface tension. So what you're going to do is you're going to pour three spoonfuls of bubbles. I'm just going to pour to save us some time here. Mm -hmm. And you're going to dip your paper straw inside to get the tip. And this one may require a little bit of trial and error. We always include a difficulty level on them. And they're going to blow a bubble. Oh, that's cool. And then they're going to blow another bubble next to it. And what we're teaching them is that a bubble is a perfect sphere. So it's trying to be as efficient as possible and use as little surface area as possible. My and you're going to keep connected. on blowing. And eventually, you're going to form this really beautiful hexagonal shape. And if the kids want to try a little bit challenging afterwards, you can try to put it inside and do a bubble within a bubble and keep on building it out. And again, like I said, it may pop, and that's OK. You just keep on moving, keep on trying. Um, and if necessary, they can add a little bit more solution to it. So yeah. this one, again, teaching kids about geometry and surface tension, a really fun, interactive way for them to learn that. Well, I'm not a kid, but I'm not ready for the bubble in bubble. That's a little more advanced than my skills can take right now. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, this next I, one. It definitely took me a few attempts, but I eventually, my record is five. So five bubbles within a bubble. You can try it at home. I know you're a little bit competitive, so game on. Game is on with that one. And you're going to show us some. Um, the next one looks a little bit different. We're going to mix these things together like a rainbow. Tell us all about this one. Yes, so exactly. We're teaching kids that like dissolves like. So normally, if you were to put food coloring inside of water, you know it dissolves and it creates that beautiful color. But what if you're going to be adding it into something that has fat? So this milk is whole milk, um, and we're going to be adding all these drops around. And eventually, we're going to be making this beautiful Pollock-esque artwork. Mm. And just for time, I'm going to stop here and get ready. I'm going to add the soap. And we're going to see what happens when you add the soap. So you see it all repelled. So oh, the soap wow. is going after those fat molecules. It's the same concept if you have a greasy dish that it's going to be able to break it up. And we'll come back to this in about a minute, and you'll see this really beautiful artwork that we've been able to create with it. So again, teaching kids all about um, like dissolving like. And next up, my favorite one. And let's um, make here this. We have to make this one really quick, Rachel. I'm sorry. I've got to make weather. this really so quick. How does how does it rain? Uh -huh. um, so we would add the foam. Um, and here, this is with shaving cream. And we're going to add just some drops of the food coloring. And eventually, if you keep on adding it, you're going to see that it's going to start to rain. So again, a really beautiful way to teach kids how does it rain and about condensation. Thank you oh, so Rachel. much for having me. Kids, enjoy all the experiments at home. Thanks all again. Right. Rachel Rothman, thank you so much. A good house came with Amazing Science is out now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.